The recently launched Chinese Qianfan broadband satellites are causing an uproar among astronomers. Why? Their unexpected brightness. These satellites are not just a little brighter than their Western counterparts, they are significantly brighter enough to be seen with the naked eye and exceed recommended brightness limits for space objects. This could spell disaster for astronomers who rely on a dark, unobstructed night sky to conduct their research. In this video, we'll discuss what makes these satellites so bright, how they're impacting astronomical observations, and what changes must be made to protect the night sky from being overwhelmed by artificial light. The Qianfan constellation, developed by Shanghai Spacecom Satellite Technology, aims to deploy more than 14,000 satellites in low Earth orbit, providing global broadband services. The first batch of 18 satellites, launched in August 2024, has been the subject of much debate within the scientific community due to their unusually high brightness levels. According to a recent study, these satellites have a brightness ranging from magnitude 8 when low in the sky to magnitude 4 when nearly overhead. To put it into perspective, most stars visible to the human eye under ideal conditions have a magnitude of 6 or less. This means the Qianfan satellites are easily visible to the naked eye and much brighter than their Western counterparts, such as SpaceX's Starlink satellites. This level of brightness is highly concerning because the International Astronomical Union I.O. recommends that satellites in low Earth orbit should not exceed a magnitude of 7 to prevent interference with astronomical observations. The Qianfan satellites, however, exceed this threshold when observed at higher elevations. Their large flat panel antenna, which faces Earth, combined with a solar array pointing away, causes them to reflect more sunlight than other satellite models. The lack of any light mitigation measures, such as anti-reflective coatings or visor technology, further exacerbates their brightness. Unlike SpaceX, which has adjusted its satellite designs to minimize their impact on astronomy, Qianfan has not yet announced any plans to address these concerns. If the entire planned constellation is deployed without any changes, it could result in a significant increase in the number of bright objects visible in the night sky, complicating astronomical research and contaminating data from ground-based telescopes. The implications for amateur and professional astronomers alike are vast, as these satellites could cause unwanted streaks in long exposure images, potentially masking faint celestial objects and hindering discoveries. The unusually high brightness of the Qianfan satellites poses a serious challenge for both amateur and professional astronomers. When bright satellites pass through a telescope's field of view, they create streaks that can obscure faint stars and galaxies, complicating the analysis of data. On exposure images, which are crucial for studying distant celestial objects, can be completely ruined by the presence of these satellites. This issue is not unique to optical astronomy alone. Radio astronomers are also facing similar challenges from satellite constellations. For example, the Low Frequency Array LOFAR radio telescope detected unexpected signals from SpaceX's Starlink V2 mini satellites, indicating that radio frequencies emitted by satellites can interfere with observations. If the Qianfan constellation exhibits similar unintended emissions, it could pose a severe threat to radio telescopes around the world. As radio telescopes are designed to pick up extremely faint signals from distant cosmic sources, any interference from man-made objects can drown out valuable scientific data. Another concern is the impact on planned ground-based observatories, such as the Square Kilometer Array SKA, which is set to become one of the world's largest and most sensitive radio telescopes. The brightness and radio interference from satellite constellations like Qianfan could significantly reduce the effectiveness of such observatories, potentially compromising our ability to observe and understand the universe. Additionally, these disruptions could lead to increased costs and delays for future research missions, as scientists will have to invest more resources in data cleaning and signal filtering to eliminate satellite-induced noise. As the number of satellite constellations increases, the challenge of mitigating their impact on astronomical research becomes more pressing. While organizations like the International Astronomical Union Center for the Protection of Dark and Quiet Skies have been advocating for regulations and technological solutions, 
their reach is limited when it comes to influencing satellite operators. Without international cooperation and strong regulatory frameworks, the night sky may become permanently altered by the sheer number of bright satellites, making it difficult to study celestial phenomena that have guided human curiosity and exploration for centuries. The problem of bright satellites is not new. When SpaceX first launched its Starlink satellites, they faced similar criticism from the astronomical community. In response, the company made modifications to reduce the satellite's brightness by adding sun visors and applying darker coatings to the satellite's surfaces. While this reduced the impact of Starlink satellites to a certain extent, they still pose challenges for astronomers. The Qianfan constellation, however, has yet to make any such commitments to reducing its brightness. Efforts to engage with Chinese authorities and the satellite developer, Shanghai Spacecom Satellite Technology, have been limited. Representatives of the International Astronomical Union Center for the Protection of Dark and Quiet Skies mentioned that their contact with Chinese officials has primarily occurred through United Nations meetings on the peaceful uses of outer space. This lack of direct communication has made it difficult for the international astronomical community to advocate for changes in satellite design and deployment. Without direct engagement, concerns about the long-term impact of Qianfan satellites on global astronomical research may go unaddressed. The hope is that by raising awareness of the issue early, before the full Qianfan constellation is deployed, the astronomical community can prompt changes in the design of future satellites. Implementing anti-reflective coatings, adjusting satellite orientation, and introducing light blocking measures could significantly reduce their brightness and mitigate their impact on ground-based observations. Additionally, stricter international guidelines could help regulate the brightness of all future satellite constellations, ensuring that the night sky remains a valuable resource for scientific exploration. However, the road ahead is not easy. Striking a balance between expanding global broadband access and preserving the night sky requires cooperation from multiple stakeholders, including satellite operators, astronomers, and international regulatory bodies. The next few years will be critical in determining whether a sustainable solution can be found, or if the night sky will be forever changed by the rapid deployment of satellite mega-constellations. The stakes are high, not just for professional astronomers, but for humanity's ability to explore and understand the cosmos using ground-based observatories that have guided scientific progress for generations. In this video, we have learned about the Qianfan satellite constellation and its unexpected brightness, which has raised major concerns among the astronomical community. We explored how these bright satellites impact both optical and radio astronomy, making observations difficult and threatening the effectiveness of future observatories. We also discussed potential solutions and the need for international cooperation to address this growing issue. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about.